Hi, this is Chad from Blue Ray Ridge Outdoors. Uh, we're going to burn some brush today and some some uh, timbers. And I'm going to show you how I get my fire started. So first of all, I shovel out an area so there's no snow around it. I only burn when there's a full snow cover here in Wisconsin. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use just regular white gas camp fuel. We're going to use an aluminum can. The first thing I do is I very carefully cut the top off the can. It's a balmy 7 degrees today here in Wisconsin. Good day to uh, burn some wood. So we get our our top cut off. And we shove this cap off. There we go. And we fill it up to about a half inch from the top. Be careful with that, you don't want to spill it. So we leave that here. Okay, so we have our can full of white gas here, which is no problem as long as there's no flame around, you're fine. We're gonna do this the safe way. So what I like to do is I like the TP method. You can build the, do the log cabin if you'd like. I just find that I get better, better airflow for starting if I use this method. But it's personal preference, so you just cover it up here, build your little teepee, nice and solid. I don't want it tipping over prematurely. So there's a couple different ways you can light it. You can either take a stick, stick it in the gas, light the stick, and then put that in there, or you can use a longer lighter like what I'm using. And uh, this seems to work fine. I just stand back. It's not flammable when it's, in, when it's in a jar like this. So that's all it takes to light it. Now we're gonna put this away from the fire, and we're gonna come back, we're gonna pile more wood around it and get the chimney effect going. So as you can see, it's a very controlled flame inside there. And then that's dry pine, it's white pine, and dried several years. We'll have a fire going in no time. And then we just take this bigger stuff, break it down, and set it on top once we get a good fire going. All right, we'll give this a few minutes to get going. Have a good fire, good day for a fire. Got about six to eight inches of snow in the woods all over, so we don't have to worry about starting any fires we're not trying to start. So literally in a matter of minutes, we can have a fire like this as long as we're using dry wood, being 
very safe with our white gas and our can. It doesn't take but a few minutes. You got a good fire going. You can use this for a campfire, in a campground, whatever you want to start a fire for. Works good. You've used it for years. We'll let this get going good. I just keep adding more and more to it as it gets bigger and bigger. You just put bigger chunks on it. Just keep feeding it all day or until all your stuff is burnt up. Eventually it'll fall over and that's when you start putting the bigger stuff on. So if your fire isn't uh, as vibrant as you'd like it to, just add some oxygen. This is what I use. Works pretty well. Just add that once in a while as your fire dies down and uh, it'll go really good. You're just putting oxygen on the fire, no gas needed. All right, we'll add some more and check back later. As we put bigger and bigger stuff on, as the fire gets bigger, this is what we got. We got a good hot fire. We just pile it up and let it burn. You can see right down in there, we got nice, good hot coals down in there. And we just uh, add it up till it's all gone. And just keep an eye on it all day long. So my timbers didn't want to burn real well. So what I did is I got the steel leaf blower out. I just warmed it up and let it idle right in the base of the fire. And this is what we got. Keeps the fire burning hot and uh, works good. Now I'm gonna split up some other pine that I got so I can start some other fires. We got some timbers that are frozen to the ground over here and uh, going to uh, build a fire over the top of this after I blow off all the snow and it'll burn down and it'll uh, Loosen that up and I can all put it on one big pile. Burn it all up. When it freezes in like that, you gotta do something to get it thawed out. Otherwise it's gonna be here till spring. I tried a bar, I couldn't dig it up. So I'll just build a fire on top of it and let it burn in. This is my grandpa's old ax, still putting it to work. From that this is from that dead red pine I cut up on the trail under my trail maintenance video 
So instead of getting it in the spring, I just picked it up. We'll split it up. We use it to start these little fires and uh, make them into big brush fires. So that's where we're getting the wood from. Actually, I think I'm going to turn the blower on and get this going a little better. Just like that, we got a fire going again. A little oxygen can help. Okay, here we are again. I got my second fire started over the other pile that I couldn't bust loose. And here we go. Here was this is what it looks like. Again, just a TP. With aluminum can in there filled with white gas. <sighs> Just got it right down in the timbers, piled this dry pine all the way around it. It's the natural chimney effect. Once that gets going, these bottom timbers will loosen up. I'll be able to bust them out of the snow and then uh, burn them up. All right, well, we'll get this some time to get going. See you in a bit. Okay, well that one's gone. I'll show you this other fire I got going over here. About well, time I fire up the leaf blower and get this one rejuvenated a little bit. Stir it up a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys the sunset. The sun setting in the trees. What a beautiful day. At a high today of 7 degrees. It was about 10 below this morning on the thermometer with a, about a 30 mile an hour wind chill. But still, a beautiful day out in the woods. And at the end of the day, you've accomplished something. Get rid of this eyesore, burn it up to ash, and get it all cleaned up. I'll give this a little more chance to get going. Sometimes you just got to get the John Deere out and get work done. We're going to try to bust these out of here with the uh, back blade since I already have it set up for the snow blower on the, on the front, the back blade on the back. So we're going to take the 4110 John Deere, the back blade, see if I can pop some of these timbers loose.
up to the heat. He's got it so I can pop it out of the ground. Well, that worked. Just a little, uh, needed a little uh, incentive. So we broke that loose. We broke these all loose. So we can throw those on the fire, fire up the blower and get this fire going again. We got our second pile going good now. We got the leaf blower on it. Like a blow torch. Break that loose after that fire got going. It warmed it up enough. It popped it out of the frozen ground. So I tipped that one piece up. Once the fire gets going good, I'll just tip it back over the top. Let it burn. I want to take you over to the other pile and show you what happens if I didn't use a blower. I took the blower off this pile, and look what happened. It's smoldering now. Now watch what's going to happen when I take the leaf blower off of this pile and put it on that one. like that we breathe new life into the fire. Without this leaf blower I would have never burned any of these timbers. They were way too wet, way too full of uh, sod and dirt. So without the leaf blower I wouldn't have got very far. This is day two. So 
But it's a process, but it can be done. It all get nice and cleaned up. This is Chad from Blueberry Ridge Outdoors signing off, and I'll be here till after dark watching the fire. So, till next time, if you like this video, like and subscribe down below. We'll see, catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.